Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I'm going to talk about brightly coloured fish and the reasons why they have those bright colours, because it's very rare in nature that you'll find a brightly coloured fish with no purpose for those colours. Um, so first of all I'm going to start off with a nice example, and that's cardinal tetras. You'll notice that they've got a bright blue stripe and a bright red stripe running the full length of the body, and there's a good reason for that. So in a natural environment, in the Amazon River and streams that lead to the Amazon, um, the water visibility is very bad. There's lots of silt suspended in the, in the water, lots of mud and stuff, dirt. So yeah, visibility is very bad. And these are school and fish, and the school, so they're less vulnerable to predators and they feel a bit safer. But if these fish were brown or a very dark colour, then they'd find it very hard to see each other and very hard to school in such a, a murky river. So over over a few million years they've developed bright colours so they can see each other quite easily in the bad visibility of the Amazon River. So these fish have developed bright colours just so they can see each other um, where they live. Um, an example of where a fish has developed bright colours uh, for aggression is actually African cichlids. Um, African cichlids kind of show who's dominant by the colour. So a very brightly coloured African cichlid is probably going to be the dominant guy in the tank. So if you have a, a not very brightly coloured African cichlid, then it's going to be at the bottom of the pecking order, if you know what I mean. So that will get food the last, and it kind of establishes a hierarchy in your tank, or in a lake even, where they come from. Um, so yeah, some fish develop bright colours just to show who's boss. And um, actually it prevents fights because sometimes African cichlids will fight to the death. But uh, other other times, um, some less brightly coloured fish will actually keep away from very brightly coloured fish because they know that a brightly coloured fish is going to win in a fight. So yeah, some fish develop bright colours just to show who's boss. Um, humans can also have an impact on the fish's appearance. Um, let's take for example the goldfish, the common goldfish, Cerasus erratus as it's named. Um, it, w it used to be, a few thousand years ago, a Prussian carp in the lakes and rivers of China. Um, but then Chinese people came along and they noticed that in every few hundred carp there'd be a bright yellow or a bright gold streak in one of them. So over a few years they gathered these together and they bred them together and eventually they got the common goldfish. So sometimes um, humans have actually intervened uh, with fish to kind of make them brightly coloured. But goldfish have no use for the bright colours. They don't need to see each other and they're, they're not very territorial so there's no really need for the bright colours. Humans have just done that because it looked attractive. Um, and really if they were let back out into nature um, they'd probably die out very quickly because they'd be easier for, bird, for birds to spot them and eat them. So the original species, the carp, um, is actually better adapted for that environment. So goldfish, um, yeah, humans have intervened with those. Another species that humans have intervened with is guppies. In nature, guppies have bright streaks on them, um, so they're attractive to females. Um, you'll notice even with modern day guppies that humans have intervened with, the females aren't as brightly coloured as the males, and the males basically develop those bright streaks and colours, luminous colours, to attract the females. Um, and what humans have done came along and bred together the males and females with similar colours to get like an all orange fish or an all blue fish. Um, so. Over a few years, we've kind of um, categorised them into colours. But if you were to find wild guppies, they just have streaks of different colours in them. Um, another fish we've kind of messed with is the fighting fish. In nature, they've got quite small fins, and they're not too brightly coloured. They've got some, they have got some bright colours, but again, we've selected the brightest ones, bred them together, made them even brighter. And then we've got the modern day fighting fish, which is 
um, very bright colours including red, blue, green, you name it. There's a fighting fish out there. But um, yeah, so three main reasons why uh, fish develop bright colours is because of human intervention. Another is so they can see each other. And another reason is for territory and to show who's boss and uh, for aggression. Um, there is another reason. Um, it's less common, but it's to show danger. Um, some poisonous fish, I think it's a lion fish. I think it's salt water. It's got lots of bobs coming off it. And it's, if you stepped on it, you'd like die or something. But that's very brightly coloured and it acts as a warning to other fish. To say, don't touch me, I'm poisonous. But yeah, um, there's a few reasons why fish can be bright colours. But often um, you won't find a fish in nature that has bright colours for no reason. It's probably being made by humans if it's got no purpose for the bright colour. Alright, so if you like this vid, please give it a comment, like it and subscribe. Bye!